so in this video we will be implementing our update service and we will be testing our spring boot and firebase application and we'll be doing a full end-to-end -end test where uh, we create update delete and retrieve from our data so first let's uh, jump and uh, quickly up, uh, start with our update crud um, function so let's quickly jump into that so update so how are we updating we do firestore db firestore equal to firestore client dot get firestore initialize our firestore do an api future with write result which is basically going to be collections api future and this will be equal to db firestore dot collection which is going to be third user dot document dot dele delete great so looks good looks pretty straightforward and instead of delete all we have to do is update so uh, for update it's basically going to be the same as uh, create so if we do crud users user singular and see we just do a get and set so it just overrides and updates whatever is missing and same as um, create we give out this so that it knows what it should expect add our method signatures to it and we have our update as ready as well okay so we have some uh, discrepancy here which we need to fix so document id needs to be document id not something else everything else looks good card document id everything is looking great and okay yeah, the next thing all you have to do is install not that and all you have to do is run our application so let's run it and let's see it from the beginning where we do a create update delete and get so definitely write unit tests uh, for your application and we will talk about unit tests in the next playlist where we uh, start from simple unit tests we move on to uh, controller unit tests and then also mock uh, see how mock it works and when do we actually have to mock our services and from simple unit tests we will jump on to integration tests and see how all of that works together so pretty interesting players coming in the future but for now let's test our crud runner so let's do a get a quickly do a get and see what's happening here take some time we did a get let's do a post and uh, let's do a create have a body body is basically going to have document id is going to be user 2 it's going to have name is going to be uh, another i'll just say program and knowledge and the last thing is going to be profession so profession and we can call this as youtuber and yep so let's do a post and see what's happening do a send and we get back the time and if you see firestore it has automatically updated it to programming knowledge document id is user 2 and this is all looking great so what's next we did a create we did an, uh, let's do an update so let's call this youtuber uh, plus software developer and all you have to do is make it a put uh, up, update and hit send we get back this and as you can see we have youtuber plus software developer so put also works um, create also works we did a get so let's do a get again so we do a get get no body params is going to be document id which is going to be user 2 it sent got nothing so it doesn't exist uh, let's call this pro 
programming knowledge it's saying and yep we have this so i think uh, it's using the name and not the document id here so i need to check up on that but uh, you know how it works and uh, yeah the document id here is programming knowledge so uh, something to change in the code for that let's quickly see uh, what was happening so we do a get name and we okay so we're setting it by name and not by document id so that's what we did so if we do a get document id and then set our crud that is where it actually uh, does it properly so same thing which we did here we do the same thing for update as well so update crud uh, instead of get name we do get document id and that is how we uh, update delete and create it so that's uh, more or less how the CRUD API works. Let's go through the beginning and see what we had implemented. So we started off with our form.xml where we uh, added some dependencies like Spring Boot Starter Web, uh, Test, Lombok, and Firebase, which is basically how we connected to our database. Here we then uh, went to project settings and that way we created our service account key and private key in service accounts. Uh, we took some boilerplate code here for the Java authentication where we extract a resource and then uh, implement it or in integrate it with our application in Java. Next was creating a Firestore database. We created a collection which was basically a schema in NoSQL called CRUD user and then we had some attributes added to it such as document ID, name and profession. Now when we come back to our application, we went to the CRUD runner and we added our boilerplate code to have the authorization done and connect to our database URL, initialize our Firebase app and have our endpoints up and running. So our endpoints are create, retrieve, update, delete and a test get endpoint to see if our endpoints are working properly or not. We then used uh, a CRUD POJO which basically is how our data looks like in this database and then we just mapped it to it so that we can see our application do stuff. Last was the CRUD a service where we implemented all of these and connected to our Firestore Firebase database application and in that way we were successfully able to um, create, update, delete and have a fully fledged cr uh, CRUD application with Firebase and Spring Boot up and ready to go. So what next? So we end our uh, Firebase tutorial here and playlist here but uh, the next set of uh, tutorials will include, as I said, uh, unit testing, where we unit start from what unit tests are, why do we need them, uh, how can we actually use them in interviews, and also talk about uh, how are they implemented in Spring Boot, and also uh, then move ahead with integration tests and uh, explore the entire testing pyramid for our uh, better understanding. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video and playlist.